What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through how you can get cards for the Steam Awards 2021. It's currently December and there's a sale going on at this point in time. If you'd like to see more information on the sale, do let me know down below. Regardless, opening up the Steam store here on the store tab, you can see the winter sale is going from December 22nd to January 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific. If we scroll down, we can claim mystery stickers each day, I'm pretty sure. And after clicking the picture, then get my sticker. You'll be able to keep this pretty much forever and send it in chat to your friends. Next one in 26 hours, so roughly about every day, I think. But if we head back to the store, scroll down further, you'll see the Steam Awards section over here, which is the fastest way to get cards for the current sale. In order to actually get cards for this, I'm pretty sure your account just needs to not be limited. In fact, at the very bottom of this page here, you'll see the requirements to actually get cards to craft into badges. Voting opens today, December 22nd, and lasts until January 3rd at 9 a.m. Pacific. You'll get one random Steam Awards trading card for each category that you vote in. That means in total, you can get up to 10. The rest of the requirements are listed out there. So I'll quickly go ahead, scroll to the top, and vote for each of these categories here. Game of the Year, and as soon as you click Vote, you'll receive a card here. Then, VR Game of the Year, Labor of Love, Better with Friends, and even though I've already voted for games in all of these categories, meaning that the games that I voted for out of the entire Steam catalog have shown up here, I do need to click vote once more in order to see votes submitted. This is the second time you'll be voting for some of these games if they made it into the top five for each category. When you finally reach the bottom of the page, you should have received 10 cards. Scrolling up to the top, the category should all have ticks next to them. Now you have 10 random cards and you may be able to craft a badge already. But don't click off this video just yet. Scrolling down even further, you'll see the section over here that people often look over. Explore great deals one game at a time, get a free trading card each day just by exploring your discovery queue. Every day return to the Steam Store page and click this button over here. This way you'll be taken into your queue, where all you need to do is click next in queue 10 or 11 times to go through all of the suggested games. Note that this button is in different locations, so it may take a while to click through everything. If you see anything like this, you don't need to input your age, you can just click skip or finish queue. There's no need to prove your age to see the store page and then click it first. It works the same either way. When you've gone through your queue completely, you'll see that you've successfully received a trading card and you should see your total trading cards for the event here. Note that if you head back to the storm and try to do it again, you won't receive another card after completing your queue a second time. You can only do this once a day and of course it's to try and attract more people to buy more games. You'll see something like this saying you've already viewed it for today, come back tomorrow. If we head across to my inventory, click on a badge, view badge progress, you'll see your current progress here, the cards that you've collected and the cards that you're missing. There are 4, 8, 10 cards in this pack, and unfortunately I've received some duplicates, so I'm not able to craft the badge quite just yet. How high can this badge go? Well, as far as I understand, sale badges are usually almost infinite, you can push them as high as you want. You can, of course, trade with friends or buy them on the market, which they'll be pretty expensive at this current point in time as it's just come out. These cards may drop or they may raise in value over time. Nobody really knows. On the Steam Awards page over here, at the very bottom, you'll see a list of ways that you can get cards. So voting in Steam Awards we've already done, Discovery Queue we've done, Trade with Friends or Buy Them on the Market we've already covered. It's just these two up here. You get them as a reward for purchasing from the Steam Storm. For every, I don't know, $10 or so you'll get a card. I'm not too sure of the amount, but do check the comments down below as someone probably mentioned it and I'll pin it when someone does. Crafting game badges, however, is one of the more interesting ones. If I head across to my badges and let's say finish off my Dota collection over here, buy remaining cards, I'll go ahead and raise the value of each of these just in case the price rises by a cent and I don't actually get my card that I ordered. It'll purchase the cheapest one available under the price that you specify here. Heading back to my badges page over here, you can see it's ready to craft. However, something you'll find very useful is an open source extension that I created called the Steam Card Assistant. You'll find this linked in the description down below, available for Chrome, Firefox, etc. It's also open source, so if you like, you can head across there and see exactly what it does before you go ahead and trust it. I'd recommend you do this as well. When you do install it, you'll have a multiple button that you can click, and instead of crafting one of them at a time, you can enter a number here and simply click OK, then the badges will be crafted right out of the page here. It'll be crafted right here. Upon refreshing the page, as you can see, it's now crafted completely. That's a way to speed it up quite a lot, but it did hide the rewards that I got from crafting it. Let me just show you here a normal one. Ghost Runner, buy remaining cards, and after purchasing the rather expensive cards here, 
You can see that when I craft the badge, I get multiple rewards when it's done. Not only an item from the game, etc., but I also get a trading card for each badge that I craft. So with 10 badges crafted, you could have an entire set of these Steam awards to actually craft as well. This extension does make life quite a lot easier as you can craft not only one, but multiple from this page over here. And if you click on a badge, there'll also be a craft multiple button that'll craft as many as possible for the badge, which is especially useful if you have five of each and you wanna just max out the badge immediately. It's super useful and I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's been out for years and works perfectly to this day. And with all of this out of the way, that's all the ways you can get Steam trading cards for the Steam Awards 2021. I wish you luck in leveling up your account. Money's been taken over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.